So we stopped at genicular anastomosis, um, where we said that it is formed by the five branches of popliteal artery, the superior medial, inferior medial, superior lateral, inferior lateral, and the middle genicular. But we also have some contribution from descending genicular branch of femoral artery and descending branch of lateral circumflex femoral, and also the anterior tibial recurrent artery you can see it's going upwards and a circumflex branch from the peroneal artery okay so that's superior lateral genicular inferior lateral and sorry superior lateral and superior medial genicular artery then inferior lateral and inferior medial genicular artery then there's a middle genicular those five are from popliteal artery but we also have the anterior tibial recurrent and circumflex um, fibular branch, then a descending genicular branch from femoral, there it is, and a descending um, branch from the lateral circumflex femoral artery, okay? So this is um, your medial circumflex here, medial circumflex femoral, but there is a descending branch of lateral circumflex femoral that will go downwards to participate in the genicular anastomosis. Popliteal lymph nodes are usually arranged most of the time. There are six, which are embedded in fatty connective tissue of the popliteal fossa. And the popliteal lymph nodes mainly drain lymphatics from the lateral aspects of the foot and the heel of the foot the popliteal fossa, the knee joint, and the deep lymphatics that are accompanying the anterior and posterior tibial artery. So those are the lymphatics that drain into popliteal lymph nodes. Lateral side of the foot and the heel, the popliteal fossa, the knee joint, and deep lymphatics following anterior and posterior tibial arteries. So these are the popliteal lymph nodes. So they will drain this lateral aspect of the, uh, of the foot, the heel, okay, the leg, then the lymphatics that are following the tibial, vessels. Tibial nerve, of course, is the larger terminal branch of the sciatic nerve. It arises on the superior border of the popliteal fossa, which is lower third of the thigh, and runs through the popliteal fossa. So usually on the lateral side of popliteal artery then becomes posterior to the popliteal artery. It enters the posterior compartment of the leg below the soleus muscle, and it has three uh, divisions, or rather three parts. You have cutaneous uh, branch, that joins the sural communicating branch. Then you also have muscular branches to gastrocnemias, plantaris, um, soleus, and popliteus. And of course, there's an articular branch to the knee joint. So those are the branches of tibial nerve. Um, branch, cutaneous branch that joins sural communicating branch, muscular branch to gastrocnemias, plantaris, soleus, and popliteus, and articular branch to the knee joint. So this is your tibial nerve, the upper border of popliteal, uh, fossa, then it goes down, gives muscular branches to gastrocnemia, soleus, then it comes down at the uh, upper border of soleus, it now continues downwards like that. Common peroneal nerve is a smaller terminal branch of sciatic nerve, again arises on the lower third of the thigh, the upper part of the popliteal fossa, so then rises, uh, runs through the popliteal fossa towards the lateral aspect and crosses superficially to the lateral head of gastrocnemius muscle. So you can see it here, superficial to the lateral head of gastrocnemius muscle. So it's in the popliteal fossa towards the inner aspect of biceps femoris, then on the lateral part of gastrocnemius. Okay, so that's where you have your common peroneal nerve. So it passes behind the head of the fibula from lateral border of gastrocnemius behind the head of fibula, then goes round the neck of the fibula before it pierces peroneus longus muscle and divides into two terminal branches, a superficial peroneal branch that will innervate muscles in the um, lateral compartment of the leg and a deep peroneal nerve that goes into the anterior compartment of the leg. What are the branches of common peroneal nerve? We have sural communicating branch, lateral cutaneous nerve of calf, then there's a muscular branch to the short head of biceps femoris, and an articular branch to the knee joint. So these are the branches within the, the, the thigh and the popliteal fossa. Remember, the terminal branch is superficial peroneal to the lateral compartment of the leg, 
to innervate peroneus longus and brevis. That's common uh, superficial peroneal, and the dip will go to the anterior compartment of the leg. Thank you very much.